What's up guys? Of course I go by the name Mose Arx and today we're heading to we're heading for Nakura Motor Club Charity, Charity Drive. Drive. So we're heading to Mbaruk. Mbaruk is a certain place in Nakuru, just next to Shana's boys. So that's where we're heading to for a kids home care international. It's a home care for kids who maybe have like ometoka kwao or like orphans. Rescued. Rescued kids. Yeah. So that's where we're heading to. Or uh, to donate some some stuffs. Because near December. Yeah. So we are being joined by, of course, other members of the Nakuru Motor Club, and takuwa takuwa yangu chama ni shakila mtu ni yata kuwa pale. Yeah. So um, it's going to be exciting. Uh, we will show you everything we can, and then if this is your first time watching our, our this channel, remember to subscribe, like, share, comment, engage with the videos, watch the rest of the other videos, and yeah, we'll appreciate. Yeah. So uh, then after that, we'll be heading to Naivasha, uh, to Loiden campsites to go and camp there. And there's a, a very special place just next to Loiden. Uh, it's a farmhouse, Yamzungu Fulani Apple. That's where we're heading to. Get to to Kaioko for, for, for the weekend. Yeah. It's like we are a group of people and it's a seven bedroom house. We'll show you our journey from here to. Baruk, then from here all the way to Naivasha. Yeah, keep it locked. Don't don't touch that dial. <laughs> <laughs> Home care children's home in Mbaruk. Ah, that me fika. Ready for to see the kids. Ready maybe interact with the kids before we head to Naivasha for the charity drive. Yeah, so we are calling this a charity drive, but we are going to come at Neto uh, Den. Yeah, so Den uh, campsite in Naivasha. Yeah, so this is the home care children's so So to get an to every day, okay? The visitors welcome very much and feel at home. Uh, Hapa tonight to a home care international. Uh, we take care of gas, we rescue, take care, and then if we get the parents, we place to the parents. Uh, or even relatives or parents, whatever, but we rescue first mm, and then we take care of the children before they go to the maybe relatives. Hapa mm, to in 1998, to uh, take care of girls and boys. Kuna wenye mefanya form 4 for now, lakini bado tuna wahol kwa sababu wa tutaki mtoto amalize tu alafu tumuachilia aende. Tunataka kupea mtoto a future. Kwa hivyo tunataka waende mpaka college, at least mtu awe placed study, to feel comfortable, ndi tuachane na how. Even also girls, we rescue them from different places, from Masai land, where there is early marriage and FGM. Uh, from Pokot, from Pokot, from 
Okay, even around here, Solai, Kitale, the Kenya Mzima. Yes. And who are to pata our total through children's department? Even most of the people normally come to our gate and say, please take this child, whatever. Lakini sisi watoto wetu wanapitia legal process. That's why sayenye wako hapa, we really take care because we are responsible for these children. In case anything happen kwa uyu mtoto, we will be asked. That's, a, that's why we really take care kwa sababu wako kwa mikono yetu na wako kwa mikono yetu through government. Na mnaelewa tu government, if you mess with government, you can get what you want. So that's why we really take care of these children uh, and we rescue from 12 years to 17. Yes. When they finish form 4, we make, okay, the contract, the contract is from 12 years to to 14 years when they are finished for four. And then we revoke the contract and then we start another contract of college. But we make sure the child is, at least we leave the child when he's stable in life. We just don't uh, educate them and leave them. That's the short history of home care internationally. <laughs>
Welcome to our room tour. This will be our home for the weekend. Yeah, so um, when you get straight through the door, remember this is like a seven room house. It's huge. With a lake view. So yeah, when you get this one of the rooms, so when you get into the room, kuna chimney, it's like they want to Yeah, they have, they, oh yeah, sorry, wood guy. The fireplace, me like that. Oh, chimney, me like Oh, sorry, the fireplace. <laughs> so yeah, when you get to the room, there's a fireplace. Na kuni so clearly mka wana washa moto for you guys. And then kuna um couch, yeah, kuna couch here. And then kuna the bed straight ahead here. It's a huge bed and it feels comfortable. So yeah. Then kuna of course the nightstand and then you get to the bathroom. It's like a really really simple but classy room. So when you get to the bathroom, kuna the first thing is the tap and then kuna sink up shower there. Uh, there's a linkama dressing table of some sort with a huge huge mirror. With a huge mirror, there's another sink there. With a mirror as well, and right behind you, kuna a loom. So it's a it's an amazing, an amazing room. We love it. We are so excited to spend our weekend here. And kuna safe in case you come here with valuables. And yeah, we are loving it. And then so this is like the icing on the cake. Kuna views. Kuna view of the lake. Like to turn car to the view of the lake. <laughs> Sorry. So to shout, good morning, my neighbors. Good morning, my neighbors. It's a quaqua lake. Yes. That is what you see when you come to this estate in Naivasha where we are spending our weekend. So yeah, we are happy. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this is the, the house. This is the dining area. When you come to Mundui, hey, it's called Mundui, Mundui House, just next to Lake Olegen. Yeah, so this is the dining place. This is where we'll be taking our supper and breakfast. Then, yeah, let's go to the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Look how amazing it is. We are in the kitchen. I think this is where we preparing some meals. And this is our, our meals which are being prepared. So when you hire this house, you get a free yeah, this is what we, we bought so that we can be, we can cook for us. So when you, you hire this house, these are some of the benefits you get. You get like a free chef plus some waiters. Yeah. Imagine. Free. You have like two chefs and a waiter to serve you. Yeah. Then here is the sitting area to the fireplace just here. Uh, then from the little car. Oh and when you get out through the back door, you get to see a beautiful swimming area. Yeah, you can just come here, relax, and enjoy. Swim with friends, have like a party with amazing views, and just enjoy your life. Yeah, so apart from that, let me take you guys to the other side. Yeah, the outside area has beautiful beautiful views of Lake Oloden. 
Like these guys don't have even a fence to lake all the day. Yeah, and our room is just here. This is our room. Yeah. Up of my room on the two direct all the way to the lake or the den. And of course we are doing some bonfire for the night and they have like free game drives when you arrive here. Amazing. Yeah. So far we we are doing our, our dinner. We are cooking right now. I think you guys have seen the mbuzi which we are chomaying. Then yeah the whole place. So these guys, of course I told you, they have their own chefs. Once you like you hire the place, it's an Airbnb, you get free chef and waiters. Yeah, so I to one of the young men Good morning. Ah, I just woke up to such a beautiful beautiful view of Lake Oliden. Just look at that. Just look at this. Wow. So when you come to Mondoi house, this is what you experience. Just from your bedroom, those are the views you get to see. Wow. So I'm trying to fill up uh, Let's go to the bathroom area. Yeah, so it's morning. And I'm trying to... Yeah, so it's morning. And I'm trying to fill this tub. So I can... Mono, when you... Nafa, go and get a tub. But I'll get in. I try to soak my myself and relax for a few minutes with the then start the day. Yeah. Morning guys, so it's around 8.30 and this is how the place looks like in the morning. Uh, it has an amazing view. We loved waking up to this. So yeah, um, we're just about to have breakfast. They've already set up the breakfast area. So we are waiting for them to set up the food, but it looks good so far. We'll be having breakfast with a view of the lake. We are having, loving it so far. Last night was uh, amazing. We had um, a, some time to sit around the bonfire just chatting and yeah we are up now a bit tired but yes we have to do this so this is what you get when you come here it's really it's a really amazing huh? yeah. so we'll show you breakfast in a few what's up guys so our breakfast being set now with an amazing view like it's a how do you call it like breakfast with a view of course being set outside and we just we're just next to the lake and from here you can see when people who are like uh, rowing their boats 
You see there? How beautiful. Then the other side you can see some hippos. This place is so, 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 so beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. I'm sure everything is safe here. That's what I've been told. So, there's nothing to fear. There's some hippos the other side. I can't get to uh, near there because hippos are dangerous. Then I can see like, some fishermen doing their thing. Yeah, then up there, we are being set up our breakfast. Wow. What a beautiful place. So we've had our breakfast and um, to my chill kidogo. It's currently 10, almost 11, and we uh, we want to go for a game drive. So when you uh, are staying at the property, you can have a game drive, which is free. So Nika complimentary to yeah, being here. So that is what we want to do. We'll show you what we see, the animals we see. The last John I ate due to me, she na pana wanyama tangu shukuje. So yeah, you excited? Yeah, so we finally made it to the spot where these guys do their sundowners. So when you come to Mundui house, these are some of the places like you come and chill. So we are, do, we are currently doing the game drive and it's amazing. You can see the animals here. Yeah, beautiful. Like the place looks like Masai Mara. So, 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 so beautiful. Yeah, then here, I think I can see some animals. It's down here. Wow, there are a lot of, a lot of animals. You can see them? Yeah, beautiful animals. Wow, okay, nice. So, this way you can come and chill, have your dinner, have your sundown, have your drink while watching the animals. Yeah, so next time we'll do this. Yesterday we came a bit late, that's why we didn't show you everything. So we have stopped here, just a few meters from the lake to in search of hippos we don't know where they are so if we want to walk slowly we have our guide so that we can be able to at least see take a few photos and enjoy the place yeah to my I'll talk to Kwa, Kwa Lake during the daytime so let's just yeah wait and see but <laughs> this is as close as we can get to my care picture. <laughs> I think picture is going more. But ni a group. Oh, no more like it. Ni a group of um, many hippos. And it's scary. Yeah. So, we're back. How was it was nice. Mm -hmm. Um and scary. Jukuna places look out on a shuka. But especially up when the hippos. That was way. But scary. yeah, it was really, really nice. Like mm -hmm. to a lot of animals, especially buffaloes. Like there were so many. I'm so close and to us. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they are so close. And the hippos pairs mingi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you ever 
open yourself here. Make sure you go for that drive. It's very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many hours you taken? Uh, one and a half. Because mm -hmm. we'll talk about 11, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Round one. Yeah. Okay. Close to one. Close to two hours, actually. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So, uh, what is our next step? Have lunch. We are hungry. Hungry people. Very hungry. Go for Kwanza shower. Yes. Then have lunch. Yes. Then decide Kama to Narudi Nakuru. Yeah. <laughs> so we are done. Uh, everything is now packed and we are about to start our journey back. But before that, we have to take our lunch. You're to talk. Yeah, so the setup is being done. This is the setup. I'll have to up on the late Kunangiri. That's some four, four thousand. Four giris. Yeah. Yo, it was such an amazing staycation at this place, Sinito Mundui House at Lake Oluden, a beautiful place because I think you have enjoyed like from the time we entered this place till now all the things you've done including the uh what drive game drive Inclu yeah including the game drive it was such an amazing amazing and beautiful experience how was it uh it was good very nice um <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> you can tell but by how we don't even want to like go back but we have to. So yeah, this is really well needed staycation. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yo, so uh this event was for the Nakuru Motor Club, an amazing club uh, for the car lovers, for the people who love cars. Because last time we went to Elementaita we camped there. Uh, this uh, weekend, it was just like a, like a, a, a get together of the admins and some of the uh, members. So we came here and we, we really enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, so till next time. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe, watch the other videos, engage with them and show us some love. Bye. Bye. But wait. Akina Tony, Empire, you guys are amazing. And let's organize more of this. Yeah, so, we have enjoyed more than you. <laughs> Bye.